This week, the Rocky Mountain Women's Film Group is celebrating 35 years of bringing movie screenings to Southern Colorado. Jasmine Arenas joins us live in studio to explain how the group is the largest in the Western Hemisphere. Jasmine. For more than three decades, the Rocky Mountain Women's Film has shown nearly 1,000 films over the years that inspire, educate, and bring change. Films have a way of inspiring change and awakening unknown passions. I've seen so many films over the years, and um, I am always both inspired and um, sort of humbled by what other people have done with their lives. For Linda Broker, executive director of the Rocky Mountain Women's Film, elevating women's voices through her events, like the film festival in November, is important. It's sort of twofold. One, you have um, an event that any film you see is going to be either by or about a woman, and it gives everyone the opportunity to see the world through a female lens. Last year, Molly Wars, a passionate English teacher at Community Prep, attended the film festival for the first time ever. That festival quite literally rerouted and changed my life for the better, uh, based upon one of the films that I saw last year. The film, Catherine's Kindergarten, directed and produced by Kate Cleaves, is about a grieving woman coping with the death of her only daughter. The film inspired Molly so much that she visited the school in Nepal where she found a new passion for global education. Kay's uh, willingness to pursue this film and to help donate to this school allowed me to then in turn go to this school when I don't necessarily even have the qualifications on paper, but I have the passion and the drive to go and follow through with something like that. So I think when women filmmakers truly chase after their passions, it in turn will allow other females to know that they can follow those passions as well. Friday night, the group is hosting a free drive-in cinema night at the parking lot on East Colorado Avenue. Live in studio, Jasmine Arenas for KRDO News Channel 13. Look, a great event. Jasmine, thanks.